You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, so we've been talking about all the craziness with the cops. Check this out. A video has been released that shows police destroying medical station in an Asheville, North Carolina protest. Watch this. The police are now stabbing water bottles with knives. I'm pouring all the water out onto the ground. You're destroying this water. This is the Asheville Police Department. The curfew is in effect. Please leave the area peacefully. Thank you. It's not peaceful. It's not peaceful, you fing asshole. It's not peaceful. All right, folks, let the video roll. Pull my mic up. Basically, look, the mayor of Asheville, North Carolina, wants some answers as to why the cops did this. Uh, Erica, this is stupid. This is just stupid. I mean, it doesn't. So you're just trying to get back at protesters. Why would you waste like this? We actually saw this by some other departments as well. Absolutely. We saw this happen in the District of Columbia. And my question is, on whose authority did they destroy uh, the estimates of about $700 of supplies. And in, in even thinking about Asheville, North Carolina, Asheville is 80 plus percent white. Uh, the population of black and other people of color is, you know, when you add them all up is about maybe 18 percent when you add black and other folks as well. And so what we're seeing are people who are non-black that are really getting a small glimpse of what black folks that lead, that are grassroots organizers get um, in terms of engagement with the police department. So that the mayor who again has oversight over the police department needs to follow up with the community to talk about what actionable measures have taken place since the time that the police, and these are taxpayer funded public just, services, those people felt that they were able to do what they were able to do. It's just stupid. Reese, it's stupid, it's water. Like, why, why, look, okay, fine, your curfew, they're going to take it back. You don't just look at this curfew, it's that, it's food, it's snacks. It's just stupid. What it is, it's looting, okay? They always want to talk about, you know, make, it, make black people the face of looting or, or make black people the face of violence and, and these protests that are happening. It's the cops that are looters. Okay, there's absolutely no justifiable reason whatsoever. These water bottles do not pose a public safety threat to these cops who are basically just acting like animals, all right? And so it's it's sickening to see this over and over again. What they're trying to do is they're trying to create as unsafe conditions as possible, going after a medic, you know, so that they can't service people who, like, for instance, Justin um, Howell down in... Um, and, and I can't recall the state exactly off the top of my head because there's so many of these cases, who was hit by a rubber bullet and um, is in critical condition now. And the cops hit the person who was trying to attend to them, the paramedic, with a rubber bullet as well. And so this is just more of them really flexing their brutality That's and all. why people need to be in the streets in the first place. Greg, this is why people don't like police. You don't have to do this. I mean, again, if you're cops trying to enforce a curfew, there's a way to be reasonable in talking to citizens. Sure, um, but they may have had to do it, Roland. Uh, not thinking about the uniform they wear or the police function they assume, but the human beings underneath uh, the uniforms. Uh, David Zack, the police chief, uh, said, I apologize for not being able to constrain these, uh, uh, to, co to compensate, rather, these supplies last night. And I think that was probably more true than he could admit. The reason they weren't able to constrain uh, to uh, to contain these uh, these these supplies to confiscate these supplies rather is because these are tiny pieces of men. Uh, they're searching for their manhood underneath those crushed water bottles, and they're stabbing the ground with their proxy fallacies. the 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 idea is that they are somehow searching for some sense of their humanity. They stomped on those bottles because they are pieces of men. 
They stabbed those bottles because they're searching for some phallic dominance in a society where they joined the police force for this exact thing. So when the police chief, who should be fired but won't be fired, apologizes for not being able to confiscate, right. what he's basically saying is, I can't contain this urge because these are the people we have recruited to this uh, this fascist outfit. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Sport Black Owned Companies, the folks at Seek.com. Uh, Sister Mary Spiel, uh, she created, of course, uh, these headphones as well as this virtual reality headset right here. Phenomenal. Uh, the headset, of course, 360 degree 4D. Uh, it's uh, unbelievable sound. In addition to the VR headset, you see right here, if you, of course, just pop it open, slide your phone right into it. You can look at the content on Seek.com as well as other 360 degree videos. It's really, really great. All this created by this sister, uh, black owned folks. Go to seek.com, seek.com. Put in this code right here, RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020, and you can actually uh, get that. And so, of course, using that code, part of the proceeds go back to our show. This is what we do black businesses, helping black businesses all been able to grow and thrive together. And so we certainly appreciate uh, partnering with them.